Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to have some fun with foiling. I have the new Spellbinders foil kit. I'm going to show you what's included and then I'm going to share three cards for inspiration. First of all, you will get this foil roll in silver and then all the plates that are included will give you the most elegant cards ever. There is a sentiment included that says from me to you, you will get the plate to foil as well as the outline that you can die cut it. You also get five of those wonderful plates that you can combine together to create a kind of an oval shape on top of your card. I'm going to bring in a card so you can see what I mean. You get a design with leaves and berries, another one just leaves, this is the one with the flowers and a couple of them that have a sentiment on top that say a big thank you and happy birthday. Now you can foil these on top of your card and create kind of an oval shape. And you can foil with the same one, rotate and foil once more, or you can combine different ones from the set. So for example, you can have leaves along with a sentiment or leaves with the flowers and so on. You can also have them separated like that or bring them close together. I am going to make three cards today and I'm going to show you different combinations. So I have a white panel here which is slightly smaller than my standard card and I'm using my handy tool there to cut out my foil making sure that it is slightly smaller so I can see the edges and this way it would be easier for me to align the plates on top making sure that everything is nice and straight. I'm going to secure everything down with washi tape and I strongly suggest to use washi tape when you are putting your plates together because they are going to move. After all, you need to take out the platform from the foiling machine and place it uh, through your die cutting machine. And that's why I always use washi tape just to make sure that nothing is going to move on me. Now I do have uh, my platform ready to go. I'm going to place the panel on top and I'm going to press the button. I am waiting for that uh, little uh, green light to stop blinking and then I can run it through my die cutting machine. I like to do that very slowly, back and forth, making sure that I apply pressure and I will end up having a good impression. And for this panel, not sure if you noticed, instead of using the silver foil roll that was included in the kit, I used one from a previous kit, which is uh, that lovely gold rose. You end up having this lovely foiled frame you can keep it simple like that, just thumb a sentiment at the center and you have a beautiful anniversary or wedding card. However, I'm going to show you a few ideas on how you can uh, step it up a little bit. So here I combined the plate with the flowers and the plate with just the leaves and I used pink foil. Here's another one that I did, this time with gold foil and I combined the one with the berries with a plate that says a big thank you and I do have some overfoiling down there so I'm just going to use my Santa razor to get rid of that. Now these can be berries but uh, depending on how you color them they could be easy turned into other fruits. And finally I have this one with blue foil where I combine the one with the flowers with the happy birthday sentiment. So let's turn these panels into cards. They are going to look alike but they will all have slight differences so I can give you a few ideas on how you can play with them. Now for the first card I did foil with that uh, pink foil roll, one more time the plate that has the flowers on top as well as I did foil my sentiment from me to you and I did use the matching die to die cut it. Now I'm going to use my alcohol markers and I'm going to color all the images, the flowers and the leaves. It's super easy to color inside those foiled areas and somehow the foiled area kind of resists the alcohol marker. So even if you go with your marker over the foil accidentally, you will find that it doesn't stay in it. This makes it really easy to stay inside the lines and it kind of reminds me water coloring inside heat embossed outlines. The alcohol markers that I'm working with are by Altenew and I like them because they have that uh, fine tip nib on one side so it is easy for me to color in such small areas. And now let's put the card together. I do have a four and a quarter by five and a half light pink cardstock and I'm going to stick my panel there. I do have foam squares on all the layers so I do have enough dimension and you can leave the card as it is and call it done. If you like, you can embellish it even more and that's where this extra fold uh, piece comes in. I'm just going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut some of the flowers. 
and now I can use them to decorate my card. I'm actually going to nest them behind my sentiment. This way I have those flowers and leaves that are matching with the border, but at the same time they are dimensional, so they add something extra on my card. But again, you can have a similar looking card by having everything completely flat. Even the sentiment at the center, you can uh, foil it directly on top of your panel. I'm just trying to show you different and creative ideas on how you can use the set. And finally, just because I cannot have enough blink, even on a foil card, I'm going to add some gems. I'm spreading them around the border. And this is going to finish off the first card for today. And as I always say, Foiled cards are really difficult to photograph and catch all that lovely shine that you get on the details. They are always really stunning and very professional looking in real life. For my second card I'm going to create something similar but slightly different. So again I use my alcohol markers to color in the images. And then I'm going to use the die for the sentiment and I'm going to place it at the center and run it through my die cutting machine. This way I am going to create a window that has the shape of the sentiment and you can see the sentiment through. You can even do that at the front of your card and when you open up the card you can have the sentiment on the inside. So in this case I'm using a red panel that matches the color of the red on my berries. I'm holding the panel temporarily and I popped inside that window the plate that foils the sentiment. I'm going to secure that down with my washi tape and I know that I have the perfect placement and then I can place my foil underneath and put the whole panel on my Glimmer Hot Foil Machine. And I'm not going to show you the whole process but once that plate was warm enough I ran it through my die cutting machine and here is my panel with the foil sentiment at the center. Now I do have foam tape at the back of my white panel and I'm going to place it on top making sure that I align everything correctly and sorry for the head there but I need to see that from above. Now all you need to do is to stick this on top of a pre-folded card but of course you know me and Blink I just love to add something extra so I'm going to add a few red gems here and there. Here is a close-up look and I am trying to catch the light for you so you can see how lovely it looks in real life. And here are some close-up photos. For the third card I decided to go with blues, so here I just used shades of blue to color the leaves and the flowers and now I'm going for a shaker card. So I want to cut out the inside of that oval shape. For that I'm just using my craft knife to create a hole and this way it would be easy for me to use my scissors from the inside. I'm going to follow the line of the design and I'm going to leave a little bit of white border as I go along. I took my time. It's not going to look super perfect as if you used a tie, but trust me, no one will ever notice if you have some imperfections. So here is my panel ready to go. And since I used blues to color the flowers, I decided to go with navy blue for the background. Again, I'm going to repeat what I did for my red card, where I am placing the plate that says from me to you at the center of my panel and foil it again. And of course I will use blue foil, the same that I used for the top panel. And as I'm waiting for my Glimmer hot foil machine to warm up and uh, so that I can foil the sentiment, I am preparing my panel. This is going to be a shaker card, so at the back of my window I'm going all around with double-sided tape and then I can peel it off and stick on top a piece of acetate. Then I'm going to bring in my foil roll and I'm going to create kind of a border like a wall all around the frame, the back of the frame, which is going to make sure that any shaker elements that I add on my shaker card are not going to fall out. In the meanwhile, my glimmer machine has warmed up, so it's time to foil the sentiment. Now this is blue on blue, so it is quite subtle, but uh, that's what I was going for. If you want this to be pro more prominent and uh, you will be able to see it better, then you can always foil it in uh, silver, for example, something shiny and really bright on top of a navy blue. I used the Starry Night sequence and this is a mix of lovely blues and silvers and you don't only get the round ones, you will find little stars inside as well. 
So I'm going to place a small amount on top of my panel. I don't want to add too many as I want to be able to read the sentiment and also have some movement. So at the top of my frame, I do have the happy birthday. And if you shake the card and uh, move the sequence, you will be able to reveal from me to you. And now I'm not gonna lie, I did want to add a few gems around the frame like I did with the other cards, but there is also so much shine in this card with the sequence and the foil, so I stopped myself. So these were the projects for today, I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired as I played with the new foil kit by Spellbinders. As always, down below in the description area, as well as on my blog, you will find a list of all the supplies that I used to create my three cards. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I hope you will all have a lovely day. Thank you.